welcome Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant House Flipper 2 on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be working on the areas outside of all of the bedrooms. Just making them a lot more presentable. Maybe get some wall decorations, a couple of cupboards maybe add a few uh, beams and things just to make sure people don't fall to their deaths when they go up the stairs, things like that. And maybe we will work on the laundryette as well where we're gonna have a bunch of washing machines and stuff. So let's get straight into things. Now uh, this is Gamerman 117's drug shed that we made in the previous video. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, it's gonna ruin the house of wonderful weirdos, but you don't have to worry because he's got his very own room outside. <laughs> We just have to make sure we keep away from him because uh, if he's got a room like that, he might be a little bit of a degenerate. So we have to be very wary about being around him. <laughs> and he also might smell very weird as well if he's uh, smoking some of the good stuff. <laughs> I like how it looks around there, actually. Very nice. Oh, actually, let me just quickly go and turn the light off. Because as we've already learned, this game does not like lights. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, so what I'm thinking about doing is I might do something that's a bit similar to what we've done in rooms like Black Forms, where we have the uh, beams going across the uh, ceilings and stuff like that. Just because it makes the, uh, makes the area look a bit more 3D, you know. So we're going to probably do that. And then once that's done... We will uh, start putting some decorations on the uh, walls and stuff like that. Not sure what I'm going to do here. And I also do want to do something involving a carpet like I did a few videos back. But I think the thing with the carpets in this game is they don't look very... They don't look 3D. They, when you've got like these wooden panels and then you can see that the carpet is the same height as the wooden panels. That just looks weird. It's like the thickness of the carpet needs to be more like the rugs. But because it isn't, it makes it look weird. And then trying to pick a colour is also a nightmare as well. But Blackthorn did give me an idea that I can make the carpet and give it a border. That would have made it look a bit better than it did last time. But yeah, we'll have to see. Alright, so... This shouldn't take too long really. So what I want to do... The only fiddly bits are going to be... Probably... These little bits over here. I might have to... I might have to fill in these uh, corners again, maybe. Yeah, because fitting one of the oh, actually no, I could I could put a. Uh, we we'll have to see. Depending on the uh, thickness of those beams, we might not be able to do it. Right. So, where are those beams at? Oh uh, no, we don't need now that. We need one of the catalogs. It's going to be a lot of resizing and stuff. Right, so we're going to buy a bunch of these. So we're going to have... We're going to have one here. One there. And I'll be able to resize that all the way down to here. Then I'm going to put one of these in here. And then we'll have another one up. Oh yeah, fits... Almost put. Well, no, yeah, it does fit perfectly. I have to extend it along a little bit. I have one over here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, look at that. That that's that's nice. <laughs> that is nice. I'm only going to have to do a little bit of faffing around with uh, one of the smaller beams to fit in that little bit right there to do this bit right here. I, mean, I could just leave it like that now and then we can resize it after. Yeah, I'll leave it like that for now and then we can resize it after. And then we're going to need one. Yeah, like that. That'll be alright. And then we, look at it. we can extend that one all the way down. We have to do this exact same thing upstairs as well. Oh, did I? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh. And we're going to put one. there and then we'll have just make sure you place it against the wall like when you're placing these make sure you decide where you're going to place them <laughs> because otherwise uh when you place them down if you place them on the ceiling or on the wall it's going to change how they look and they might not match up properly okay 
eight, one there, and then we can put one like here, and then we can resize it after. Yeah, it might look a bit. No, no, never mind. I was worrying then. All right, and then we just need one over here. One over here. And I think we probably want to have a couple in the middle as well. I'm not going to can them out or anything like that. I'll just put them somewhat near the doors, just so I don't have to spend all day canning each of the uh, squares. So we go along by... Right, so is it one, two, three, four, five? Five along. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so if we do it like that and that, and then we do it five along from over here as well. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yep. And then maybe one on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five. And if we do this on the other side as well, and we make sure we remember five, <laughs> Then uh, when we go upstairs, we can uh, do the same thing. Okay, so it's five. That's five. I got. I keep on. I've, I've got to make sure I don't forget the little dots that are right on the door frame. The like the half dots. I keep nearly not counting them, <laughs> and then that's gonna make everything uh, a bit, a bit uh, thingy jig uneven. There we go. Right. Should we... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll resize everything now just to see how it looks. Then we'll recolor it. And then if it looks good, then we can do the same thing upstairs. And then we can focus on getting a few things. Like we can have like a couple of chest of drawers out here where we can keep some, you know, miscellaneous items and stuff like that. Right, resize. No. Okay. Lovely. I think I want this to come all the way across, don't I? Yeah. Let me resize this one. Resize this one. You will be resized to there. You will be resized up to there. Lovely. I think it's looking all right at the moment. Oh, we need to get some uh, things over here as well. That goes to there. That one goes to there. And then you're going to slit in there nice and <laughs> tightly. Very nice. And then you will go there. You up here a little bit more. Oh. Oh. I thought we, uh. I thought we put one there. Alright, well, whilst we're here, uh, five across. Lovely. Yeah, I think this is going to make things look a lot better outside. It's such a small little thing, we just it adds so much more detail. Oh, there we go. What are these areas outside here? Would, would I call it a foyer? I'm not sure. It's like the foyer area, isn't it? It's like the area outside of rooms, a foyer. I can't call it a passageway because it's not really a passageway, is it? That's normally just like a long corridor. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I'll Google it. If I'm thinking of the right word, it'll be a foyer, but I don't think that is. <laughs> it might not be the right thing. But that's what it's called at work, anyway. That's what you call it at work. Outside all the classrooms, I just call it the foyer. 
Oh yeah, this looks a lot better, even with it being the wrong colour. Okay, right. Yeah, that looks, that looks immensely better. And then we're going to get some, uh, I think they're, they're available in the shop, we're get, in the catalogue. We're going to get some, something here that will, like, you know, protect you all from a very horrible fall. Okay, right, let's get some more. We'll leave the colour at the moment, we can recolour it after. I just don't want to spend too much time doing this. I do wish the stairs looked better. I am tempted to change the stairs, to be honest, but... Yeah, well, never mind, we'll leave it for now. Right, let's quickly get this done so I don't forget to do it. Five across. Five across. Five across. Five across. Put one in there. Put one in there. Just those little corner areas that make it a little bit more tedious. Nice. I feel like we should also do this downstairs as well. It wouldn't even take that long. Well, oh, it would be a bit more annoying. No, I think we can do it downstairs. Yeah, because none of the kitchen cabinets reach all the way up to the ceiling, do they? Yeah, so we, we probably should do this downstairs as well at some point. I suppose I could do it in this video. But I don't want the whole video just to be this. <laughs> I won't even know what to name the video, to be honest. I won't be able to think of any, like... Any, well, to be honest, naming the video ain't, ain't always that important. <laughs> we spend a lot of time trying to name the video, but at the end of the day, the pe thing that people always look at is just the bloody uh, thumbnail. <laughs> like, they'll, they'll probably read the title just to make sure it is the video that they want, you know, but they, they pay most attention to the thumbnail. Like, even if the title is absolute shit, if the thumbnail is good, they'll still watch it. So I feel like it, that's what really matters <laughs> at the end of the day. Hey. Right. And doing downstairs should be a lot easier, actually, because we ain't got to worry about these little corner bits. Will you, will you give me a... Will you give me a red symbol for? Why does it only want me to place it on the... Why is it, why is it getting red? Why, why be, is it because I'm standing in the way? Because that shouldn't be the reason. <laughs> What's the matter we are? <laughs> We've been so dodgy for. Alright, well we'll place this one on the bloody ceiling for some strange reason. Okay, that should be all of them now. Lovely. All right, how long have we been doing this? Ah, oh, it's only 14 minutes, all good. We're flying through it. But yeah, I think I've already mentioned this, but um, at the moment I've got, at this moment in time, I think I've just uploaded, I'm recording this on the 23rd of May, and at this moment in time, I've just uploaded Chunky Lappy's uh, room for today. So uh, I've got nine videos of this already recorded. This will be the 10th and the 11th that I'm going to be doing today. So I've got a bit of a stockpile going on there. So uh, soon it's going to be House Flipper 2 every other day. Because I don't, I don't want to just do the same game constantly. I don't mind doing the same game every day if it's a smaller game. But as this is going to be a massive playthrough, yeah, I think uh, soon it's going to be every other day. And I think the game that will be played with this, there'll be a couple of one-off specials. 
Stellar Blade, I've decided to do a one-off special instead of a full playthrough, just because it's a relatively long game, and there's so many games I want to do in June. So that's going to be a one-off special now, so that'll be coming. Sandland will probably be uploaded very soon, the Sandland demo. Um, that'll be coming very soon. And then the main game that's going to be going with this is going to be Crash Bash from the PS1. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going to be happening soon. But this will still be going on for a while because we've got a lot to do. <laughs> we've got so many things we need to bloody do. We've got, so we've got upstairs to do the penthouse area, which I think might be like a game area, like a, a PC gaming area, something like that, where we can all play Command and Conquer together or something uh, in the same room or do World of Warcraft raids. <laughs> so it'll be something like that probably. Then we've got to work on the balcony. That's going to be a bit tedious because of all the measuring and making sure it don't look stupid outside and not regretting our decision. And then we've obviously got the whole gym area and that. And then we've just got outside in general to do. <laughs> and then in that time, has, uh, Frozen District might add new stuff to the game, so who knows. That didn't look like it was ignoring Collision. Oh, so it can, I could like bash it right up like... Look how weird that looks though. It's sort of like become a bit, I don't know. Like they're both phasing into another existence. That's weird. Yeah, look at that. Nah. Okay. Now we've just got a desire on the colour. So I'm thinking if we're going to keep these doors, which I really, I mean the doors look fine from outside. It's when you go into the rooms, a lot of the doors look weird. I think more so, I think it's the bathroom doors that look weird. I feel like we need to change the bathroom doors to a white door or something. I keep forgetting I can customise the door. Like, I see a door and think it has to be that colour. <laughs> it's just, it's very different from the first game, that's the problem. Things are done so differently, I keep forgetting. And I've played House Flipper 1 a lot on this channel. We did, like, four playthroughs, four separate playthroughs of that game, if I remember correctly. Right. Yeah, that's the colour we're going to want. Yeah, it'll match up with the doors. Okay, copy style. Yeah, this guy looks so much better. Careful we don't uh, don't copy the style when apply it to something random. Very careful. I do feel sorry for whoever gets uh, whoever's got this room. This is the uh, this ain't the thingy room, is it? It might be the memorial. Yeah, it's the memorial one. That one's all right. But whoever got the smaller one upstairs, oh man, they're gonna have a rough time. <laughs> Every time they want to go into their bedroom, it's just gonna be such a tedious task. But as I already mentioned, I've got to deal with that at the moment anyway, because of all the boxes and stuff right by my door, in my bedroom. <laughs> it's a right pain. Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that looks a shit ton better. It's crazy how such little things can make such a big difference, though, isn't it? I think the bit we're going to have a bit of trouble with might be the uh, banisters. That might be a bit of a pain. Okay. Alright, that's all done. Right. So, let me have a look at the banisters. I think it comes under... Oh, it might be under this one, isn't it? We got columns, like yeah. Where is it? We got, we got. Some of these are called fences. Where is it? Like this. I feel like maybe we could use. I know they're called fences, but I feel like we could probably use that maybe. Yeah, we could use these. 
yeah, I feel like this might work. Just depends on how I can place it and if I can recolor it. Yes, yeah, so if I like. And then I could put like maybe two columns in the middle. The columns, I could probably, the columns should be, if I clone these, they should fit up here, shouldn't they? Because I, I think every, every, every room should, yeah, it should be the same height. I think I measured out everything pretty damn well. Now I could put a couple of columns here. I don't even know what's the, yeah, there is a wall above it. Oh man, trying to match these up is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> yep, that's why it's going to be a nightmare. Right, I'm going to have to pull it here. How much is it over? It's over by about four and four. Don't slightly move. Stop slightly moving over. Right, I think it was like... Right, now I need to see if I can recolor this. Um, okay, I can't paste that style. I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, edit it. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, that works. Lovely. It's not completely what I wanted. But um it works. Alright, let me uh let me duplicate this. Because I think we have to do the same thing upstairs. Oh no, alright, I better not duplicate it then. I wanted to put something like on the stairs. Oh this bit up here looks pretty safe. Oh no, we might have to put yeah, we might have to put one along here. Okay, we'll buy this. Have it come down here. Sweet. Gotta make sure I keep uh, you lot safe, and I <laughs> don't want my favourite, my favourite subs to all end up dead. Especially the first day they move into the house of wonderful weirdos. The amount of money I've spent building on this place. Bloody hell, you'll die the day you come here. It's gonna be. Be a complete waste of time, isn't it? Okay. Lovely jubbly. That does not look like that, does it? <laughs> like that, that's uh, that's saying it's going to be cream. Or, or beige. That's human skin colour. How does that look like human skin? Well, unless you're African, how does that look like human skin? <laughs> I don't flipping get it. Let's flip the colouring in this game is the most dumbest shit in the world sometimes. Okay. Right. Nah. What we're going to do is whilst I've got a bit of time... I want to quickly try again with the carpets. It's because I want it to be, you know, you know, like uh, how it would be in like probably Buckingham Palace, where you'd have that like long streak of like red carpet that will go down the middle of the staircase. Obviously, I can't do that with a staircase, but I want it to be like that, like it leads up from the staircase and then follows around. Because it's just so empty in these areas. Obviously, once we put some furniture in the area, it'll be a lot better. But uh, yeah, it just feels very empty. I might get a couple of these dotted around as well. 
because they're already the right colour. Right, if I place one down, resize it. Let's get a couple of these. Actually, I'll change the colour of them. There we go. Just so everything matches up. Okay. We probably should have put some of those columns up here as well, but it, it doesn't matter. And we'll put one over here as well. Pull it about... What is that, about four over from the staircase? I think that's right. Lovely. Let's get a couple down here. We might not need to down here. Nah. Okay, right, now we'll do the lights quickly. I don't know if I should turn them on, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't really don't think we should. Uh, we better go, with, actually we better go with the lights downstairs just to keep the theme matching as you go up. If I duplicate this one, oh, is it gonna be connected You should be able to pin these on there. Is it gonna it better not be connected to the same group as the other lights? That'll make things a bit bloody awkward. Right. So one here. One here. One here. Okay. Let the stick one down here somewhere. I don't know whether to use snap to grid or bloody uh, perfect bloody pl precise placement. Never know what to go with. About in the middle. These ones probably won't be completely uh, even. Right, so. Uh, uh. I can't remember what I've done on the other side there. Oh man, I'm probably placing these all wrong. I think I might have placed too many on this side. Oh no, it might be. One, two, one, two, one. Oh yeah, I think I placed an extra one on that beam. I think that's the only one I did wrong, actually. No, yeah, the rest of it's all right, I think. I think I might have put one over here. No. That's got one, two, one, two. Yes, I need to get rid of that one. They're not very level either, some of them. Okay. 
I can't, that's the thing, I can't really, I can't really turn them on. Because <laughs> it's so many lights, it becomes very, very, very laggy. And the frame rate just takes an absolute nosedive. Now, I didn't want to spend the whole video doing this area. I was hoping we could have uh, got some other stuff done with this. I'm trying my best to keep this level, and it ain't staying level. Yeah, so it is all going to be probably placed a bit dodgily. It was a lot easier downstairs because it was uh, there was no little bloody nooks I had to worry about. No little Tom nooks. Guessing the other one was probably placed here. One, two. Oh no. I'm not really sure what I've done actually. One, two at the end. One, two. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. One, two there. One, two there. Yep. Yeah. One there. One there. Oh, I did two. I did one over here as well. All right. Well, I'll copy one and we'll just place it over there. It's all good. We're rich, you know. The the uh, we should have to worry about the bill. Just remember, it's got to be level at the tops. You've got to match up the top with the top. That's how you got to do the laser. If you do it like in the middle like that, then it won't be level. It's got to be like, like that for it to be level, which is a bit annoying. Right, now we need to get two light switches. Lights, switches. Not sure where we should put the switches, actually. Can I put them on? Oh, sweet. I'm never going to remember that the switch is here, am I? Well, if I, if I can't find the switch off camera, let me know. <laughs> if I, if I uh, record an episode later on and I don't know where the bloody lights are, just someone let me know that I placed it on that beam. And then this one we'll put here. Right, let's wire everything up. Oh yeah, they are all connected to that one downstairs. All right, well, I'll, I'll attempt to turn it on just to see how it looks. But the, that means there's going to be a lot of lights turned on suddenly. <laughs> I didn't want them to be grouped up to that flipping light. What is that one for? Right, please frame right, come on. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Yep, they've all come on. That looks a lot better. It's a shame we can't leave the lights on, of course. <laughs> you can already feel how much choppier it's become. I kind of wanted to leave them on for the thumbnail. But maybe we'll turn them on when I do the thumbnail, and then we'll uh, turn them off again after. Right, now I just want to get some light. I want to do the floors as well, but I really don't know what to do with the floors. That's the bloody thing that's annoying me the most. Like, it's just some sort of carpet or whatever. Let's have a look on uh, decorations. Standing decor is not going to be that you. Well, I suppose what we could do, if we get a bunch of like chest of drawers and stuff like that, because it's good to have a lot of storage, um, we can put things on top of it, you know. Sort of like what we did in Wolf Moon's room, uh, the Buckingham Palace themed room. We could do something with that. What is it? Medium storage. 
Yeah, we want to get something similar to what we put in the uh, crack shit. Oh, there we go. That looks nice. We get a couple of these dotted around. Yeah, very nice. I'll put one either side of this. It's weird because that doesn't get cat that doesn't get considered a wall. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Lovely jubbly. Oh god, the sun has decided to return. The sun just decided to and for no reason just blast through the flipping sky. <laughs> you better not mess with my chroma key, and I swear to god. I'm not gonna shut the curtains, no bloody hell. It's, the sun was out for a while and then for some reason, it just went absolutely batshit insane weather-wise. Like, the rain was stupid, like, to the point where I thought... I felt I spoke about it in these videos. I thought the school was going to have another flood like it had in 2012, um, 17. So, uh, yeah, so I was waiting for it. I was like, yep, it's going to be a nightmare at work because they're going to have to carry all the stuff from the infants to the juniors. <laughs> and then that's going to mean that uh, my job becomes harder because there's crap everywhere. And also the infant kids are in the juniors. So I thought, yep, shit. But thankfully, it didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen, thankfully. But yeah, it's been uh, horrible. I've been, every time I walk to work, I just get soaked. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks nice. We'll go with that, actually. Have something nice and bright. Oh, careful. I think this uh, has turned out pretty damn good, to be honest. Other than sorting out the carpets, I think, yeah, I think we've, uh, I think we've made these areas look a lot better. Obviously, we're still going to place a couple of decorations and stuff. This video might be a little bit longer. Just because I'll have to have a look what's available. Everyone's got nice little lights outside their rooms. I would, have, I would have preferred to have individually wired up each light to its own little light switch, you know. Just in case you want to turn a light on outside your door. Because all your doors are going to have locks, obviously. So I wanted you to be able to like turn on the light if you need to see the keyhole or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's just, it takes, just takes a long time <laughs> to just do little things like that. And it's like, I don't want to bore you all with that. Oh my god, right, I'm going to have to shut the curtain. If the chroma key has gone weird now and there's all shadows in my face, I'm sorry. England decided to become sunny again. Right, standing decorations. What are we going to put around then? Right, we'll get a... What the hell? Right, let's get a couple of these fishes. One there, and we will put one there. And maybe one on here. And I'll quickly put one over here. Nice. We look like a bunch of poachers now, but never mind. We all know that we didn't kill the fish. But then again, buying it is also supporting it. So, it's the same thing, isn't it? Let's get one of these big-ass northern pikes. A northern pike, eh? I wonder if uh, when you catch it, it goes, E up! <laughs> e up, duck! Y'all are it, duck! I can't do Yorkshire no more. For obvious reasons, I've uh, yeah, I've lost that ability, thankfully. <laughs> uh. Okay. Now we're gonna get 
so annoying to have to now use the D-pad. Oh, I get some of these. Yeah. yeah, we'll put these on the ones with the fishes. I think they go nicely together. And then the other ones will put like a variety of like vases and stuff like that. Shouldn't need to change the colour. Okay. So they're having a fucking chat with each other. Shit man, what happened to you? Okay. Alright, that's all of them. Couple of pots. I think I'll probably put three pots on these ones. Maybe in varying different sizes. Yeah, and then we'll go with where are they? There's like these like other that could be is that is that slightly smaller, I guess. I will get one of these. And then we'll try, I think there's a, I don't know if it, it might be, yeah, maybe, maybe the middle one will have to be the biggest one. Oh, okay, I thought we had another one to do. But where's that? This one's big, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. All right. Yep. Beautiful. There's like a draft for some weird reason, but never mind. Okay, lovely. Now we've just got to do the one, ones here. All right, that's got fishes, fishes, fishes. Okay, so we've got two to do. So I think with these ones, we'll just get basically these pots in a line. So I've got one. Man, the catalog is such a bastard. Look! For fuck's sake. And uh, three. And we'll do the same thing over here. I think I will do the carpets in here, but I think we might have to wait for another episode. Just because, yeah, it's good. I, I, I'm not going to be able to decide what I want. And I think we've all, yeah, we've already gone past the 40 minute mark. So just for that reason alone, I'll do it in another episode. I think next time we'll focus on the washroom. Uh, the laundryette, which will be uh, upstairs, I think it is. We'll focus on that. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll focus on that. Right, let me go turn the lights on so I can get a thumbnail quickly. And uh, then I'll have to end it for today. Hopefully, hopefully you like what we've done outside of the uh, bedrooms. Hopefully you don't think, oh man, B-Wolf, you're ruining it. <laughs> oh, that's not the right switch. What is that switch for? Maybe it's for the lights outside. What is it telling me to duplicate? Max, we're such a naff thumbnail. Now, I really wish we'd done. I suppose what we could do before I end the video, let me get some just big rugs. I think that might make it better. Just the biggest rugs imaginable. Yeah, I think these are the biggest you can get. Yep, they are the biggest you can get. We get a couple of these. I think this might be alright. I mean, even in this colour, I think it'll be alright. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, just some stuff on the floor like that makes a big difference. Just wish they looked a bit thicker. <laughs> that's what she said. Not to me, of course, but that's what she said. All right, well, 
I'll put some upstairs as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, that's hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the uh, washroom. That should, uh, the laundryette. I don't know why I keep saying washroom probably works as well. We're going to work on that room. Uh, that should only take a few minutes. So we just got to knock down the bathroom that I built for no reason. <laughs> and then uh, place all the washing machines and stuff like that. Maybe a few shelves and things like that. Put some detergent on it, things like that. And then we're going to head upstairs and we're going to knock out the wall and we're going to work on the balcony and we're going to put some like sun lounges on it and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today.